all of this gets through. So much that the Taliban can't collect and hide at all. And I think all of that's the way we've got to go about it. And I'm sure that there are intelligent people in America who see it that way. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much. So talking about five minutes ago, one of the ads was talking about a dream lifestyle. I've got a bloke sitting beside me. My name's Frank. I drive taxis for a living. I'm dirty about that. As I reckon, I could have really been something. I wanted to be a writer. Write the great Australian novel. But no mongrel would publish it. I'm dirty about that. I guess I just don't have the contacts that the privileged do. A lot of me passengers, the guy should have been a politician. Well, I reckon I could tell them a thing or two about running this country. But politicians are too gutless. There's no way I'd be willing to compromise myself like they do. Off the road, you goose! Hi, the Migrant Resource Centre in McTeer Street, please. McTeer Street? Yes, yes, McTeer Street. M-C-T-I-E-R. Is that near Jones Street? Oh, no, I've got no idea. Well, do you know where it is? Um, Look, I'm getting late for my appointment. Have you been driving taxis very long? Do you think I'd be driving cabs if you immigrants weren't taking all our jobs? Crazy. I picked up all sorts. So as long as they don't look like Charles Manson and they can pay, well that's good enough for me. Pull a move please, mate. You okay mate? No, she'll be right. You're not going to be sick, are you, mate? No, mate, I'm all right. Listen, mate, if you're going to be sick, make sure you do it out the window. Oh, sorry, mate. I thought the window was open. Sometimes, I hate this job. your hair's lovely and I said thank you. Marcella said that to me. He said, Dawn, I think it was last Tuesday, why don't you let your hair frame your eyes? You've got beautiful eyes and I bought this. I don't mind passengers who want to chat. I could wear it up I guess. Anyway, so it was Wednesday. But I get dirty about the ones who just want to bore you with the tedious details of their pathetic little lives. It's more teeth.
to the airport, thank you. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Thorndike, you're so naughty when we're not at work. Yeah, look, we're uh, on our way to Melbourne. Can you give us a ring when we're in there? Thanks, mate. Bye for now. Are you sure it's the quickest way to the airport? Listen, mate, I do this trip to the airport about 50 times a week. I'm just trying to avoid the traffic on the freeway. Tight ass. Where to, love? Uh, IBM head office in the city, mate. Really? <laughs> What's happening in there? There's a protest today against globalisation. We've got to let these multinationals know that little people matter. Do you? Must be fun being an idealist, living off the poor old taxpayers' money. Suppose you're bludgeoning off your parents. Stuff you, mate. <laughs> Take a look around you. You're just another cog in the machine. You're the living dead. Do you really think you can change the world? Mate, if you want to change something, how about changing your stinking clothes? Get a job, and while you're at it, get a haircut. Oh, mate, you're pathetic. I don't mean to be nasty to people. I just try to be honest with them. <laughs> and then they think you're a bastard. Mate, you're part of the problem, mate. It's people like you who make me sick. I'm sure they'd think differently if they saw my compassionate side. I just never seem to get the opportunity to use it. Shiraz or Chardonnay, the Shiraz Cabernet or Semillon Chardonnay. Semillon Chardonnay, Bim Badgens, Verdello is very good. Or for a special celebration, try a bottle of the Bim Badgens, Sparkling Semillon. Excuse me, ma'am. I've got your bag. Oh, you've got that bag. Yes. Oh, thank you. And everything's still here. Oh, you are wonderful. Thank you so much. There was a whole group back there, ma'am. <laughs> but they took off when they saw me. <laughs> well, you've got my bag. That's the important thing. Oh, look, thank you very much indeed. How about I take you down to the police station now? No, no, look, I, I'm feeling rather flustered. Look, my hand is really quite shaking. I, I need to have a lie down. I'll see the police after I've had a rest. All right, look, I'll run you home in the cab and then we'll get you home safe. All right. Well, thank you very much indeed. Oh, oh no! Some bastard's got my money bag. I'll tear those mongrels apart. You can't trust anyone these days. It's probably those bastard kids. It's just a generation of criminals. The courts are too soft on them. They slap them on the wrist and they're back out in the streets. Oh, stop it! I've been robbed too, you know. I know there are some bad kids in the world, but they're not all like that. I've got two young grandsons, and they're lovely boys. What's your name? Frank! Frank, you can't carry anger around with you like that, wanting revenge. Otherwise, you're no better than they are, and you are a much better person, Frank. And don't let them stop you from seeing the good in people. Otherwise, that's when criminals have their real victory. You've got to let it go. How can you say that when you've just been robbed? Oh, young man, you've got to learn to forgive me and get on with your life. Don't let them stop you from seeing the good in people. Well, that's a tough call, Grandma, whether you deal with the dregs I meet. Is this your place number 44? Yes, thank you, Frank.
Now promise me you'll try and forgive those kids. Well, it won't be easy. But if you can do it, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. You say you've had a victory already. Grandma! Hello, darling. This is my grandson, Michael. You've got no idea what happened to me today. I got robbed, and this very nice man saved me. Oh, gee, thanks, mister. Thanks a lot. You know, in a strange way, I feel I've benefited from this experience. Thanks a lot, you've been wonderful. dirty about getting robbed. I'm dirty about a lot of things. But I keep thinking about that old lady. You know, maybe if we're all a bit more like her, the world would be a better place. <laughs>